Welcome back to the Tim Miles Coaches Show. We've been talking a lot of CSU men's hoops. It's time to talk some women's basketball with head coach Kristen Holt and freshman Sam Martin. Thanks for joining us, guys. Sure. Always feels good to, to get some student athletes in here. We had Adam Nygon in earlier. Talk to me a little bit about the uh, previous game. You guys go up to Laramie Conference Open. I know that's not an easy way to start off conference play. Uh, you guys lose 83-43. I know that's not the way you envisioned that game going. Not at all. I really thought that uh, we were ready for that game. Uh, I thought we matched up well with them. And um, I still think we do, believe it or not, even after losing to them by 40. Uh, I think our, our approach to that game wasn't what it needed to be. When we got down, they hit a couple of uh, threes and then they hit a couple shots inside and we just we just never recovered mentally and then we kind of lost our fight and uh, anytime you do that you're, you're going to have a, a blowout game and, and uh, so that was tough and especially against a, a rifle like Wyoming. Sammy, 6'2", uh, freshman out of Chaparral High School down there in the metro area. What is that considered, Parker? Yes. I guess it is considered Parker. Um, players take from that game I, I you've been on some really successful high school basketball teams uh, I know you're not used to losing by 40 give us a player's point of view from that game um I also feel like coach felt like we were ready for that game and we were all really excited for it and I think we were pumped up as a team it just when we went out there we didn't like come together as a team we didn't vibe like we usually do and I think it ended up kind of being like individual and we kind of just didn't play as a team. And I think that was one of our main concerns of that game was we just let them keep get, kept getting up and we just didn't stop them. And yeah. Uh, Kristen, what do you say in, in the huddle during games like that where everything seems to be going against you and the things seem to snowball and it's one of those things you can't stop? Well, it might be the hardest game you have to coach because you try everything. You try all kinds of combinations. You play everybody and, and no one's responding. Um, but we have, you know, with the bye week that we've had, it's been good that we had that bye week because we've just needed to kind of regroup. And uh, I expect a totally different team on Wednesday. Yeah, what, what went wrong? What, what can you correct, I guess, when you come off a game like that? What did you guys work on in practice? A lot of defense, you know. The, the, just to be honest, we have not practiced in weeks. Yeah. Uh, we've been on road trips. We've been on vacation with Christmas. Uh, we've had some injuries. Uh, we just haven't been able to get together and go five on five and get back to fundamentals. And that's what we did. First thing we did was we got down in a stance and their legs are sore today. But that just kind of indicates their legs shouldn't be sore if you're playing good defense and you're down low. So those are the kinds of things we went back to and we should be much better. It wasn't one of those running practices that <laughs> Kristen has pulled out over the years where you better place some trash cans yeah. along the court. Well, it was a little bit of that mixed in, but it wasn't that bad. Have you heard about those? I have. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, your, your teams, at least in the last couple of years, have, have responded off those type of practices. How, how about uh, this past week? I know it's good to get a bye week, but what do you guys work on? Um, I was. I think they were really good practices. We worked a lot on our defense, and um, we focused on defense, and we still get to play. We end up playing offense against really good defense because that's what we're focusing on, and I think it really helped us. Our energy level was up, and we really. It was fun. Like yeah. it was really hard, but it was really fun just because it was so competitive, and the atmosphere was great. So I think that'll be really good for us. Well, you're a true freshman playing your first year of Division One college basketball. How did you get to Colorado State? Why? Why Colorado State? Um, it was a it was a really hard decision, but in the end, it was easy uh, with Kristen or Coach Holt, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Coach Holt <Okay. laughs> and the team, and just like the coaching staff here. Uh, I also just loved the environment. I had been coming forever to these games, and I saw the crowd; it just kept growing, and all the boosters would come up and like kind of say hi, and they were just it was a great great people here, and. I loved it. Yeah. So. You had uh, sustained an injury early in your senior year of high school and uh, had to miss uh, with all of your senior season, right? Uh, yeah. How were you doing health-wise, and did you think that you'd be able to come in and, and contribute the way that you have this year? Um, I was actually a little skeptical of how I would do just because I took a whole year off. and um, I worked really hard during that year off and tried to like get ready to come here. and I, was, I wasn't sure what to expect, um, but they definitely helped me get ready and get back to like how I was before my surgery. Yeah. So. Kristen, I, I know when you got Sam Martin to sign here, you were really excited. I remember having the conversation with you. And, and it, did, did you expect her to have the impact that she has had this year as a freshman coming off an injury? Well, even when you mention her name, I, I still smile because <laughs> I'm really thankful to have her. Yeah. Um, 
she's she has kind of surpassed what I thought, especially coming off the knee injury. But one of the things that she adds to our program, other than just tremendous skill, is she's so competitive, and she just really wants to be good. And when she's tired, you can't really tell because she's going to push through that. She's mentally tough. She brings that mental toughness to our team. And we're asking a lot out of her as a freshman. We're asking her to really kind of lead um, a group of, of some veterans, and, and she's done an outstanding job. Let's look ahead to this week. Uh, New Mexico coming in, then uh, you guys got to go on the road to, to TCU. Uh, your thoughts as you get into Mountain West Conference play? It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. Hey, Coach, New Mexico, I, you guys beat them here last year. Uh, I know they'll probably be looking for a little revenge. Yeah, we're kind of in the same place. Um, they have six wins. We're at seven. Um, you know, I know that they're, yeah, certainly coming in here hoping to, to get that revenge from last year, but it'll be a, a good, tough game. Coach Flanagan always has his team ready to go. Yep, should be fun. Thanks yep. so much for joining us, Sam. Of course. Yeah. All right, thank you, Kristen. Thank you. All right, it's uh, head coach Kristen Holt and Sam Martin, the fabulous freshman from Chaparral High School in Parker. We'll continue here on the Tim Miles Show. We'll be rejoined by Tim himself. Go, Andy, go.